those tar down there could kind of be a bit of a problem. There's a, there's quite a few of them, actually. Then they look a little bit dangerous. And uh, in fact, I'd call that an entire tsunami full of tar. They are really jumping around and causing problems. Thankfully, with the oasis is around, I know eventually the slime ecosystem will right itself. But I am uh, slightly concerned. And I'm thinking, you know what, guys? Maybe it might be good to have a hydro turret or two that we could possibly carry around with us for times like this. Hmm, but for now we shall simply exit the area. So hello everyone and welcome back to Slime Wrencher. We are continuing our little vacation, adventuring through the glass desert in search of the secret slime styles. We have already found the beautiful nightshade secret slime style for the tangled slime. We have also found the nebula, the swirling beauties of its stars with the nebula slime who I am so in love with too. And we are going to carry on by searching for the mosaic and the fire slime secret styles. Hello, mosaic slime. And I think we've already looked all through here. And I, I haven't looked over here in this section. And I haven't... Have I ever made it to that island? I don't think I've ever made it to that island. But the slime styles are like much more obvious. We already accidentally searched all the way back here. So I think I need, I'm pretty sure I searched over here, but I think I need to check like maybe this area again. Uh, and we already looked through here and found a secret slime style. So I have a couple areas like kind of like these two halves that we sort of just ran past and maybe back here that the secret slime styles and other treasures might be in. But it occurs to me friends, oh look at the little flurry of nebulas. Oh, that's so cool. There's so many of them now. Hello little ones. But it occurs to me, my friends, that now that dervish slime can become nebulous, I really think that maybe that Gordo might want in on all of this fun. So we're going to collect up some prickly pears and finally pop the Gordo that I have left for oh so long so that we can get back and forth to this location. This is where there is actually still a lock uh, put in place a lot easier. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. And that means like gathering up a bunch of prickly pears to feed to the Gordo. And I'm not actually sure if we can do that. <laughs> he eats fruit. Oh, and speaking of fruit. <laughs> well, here's a little bit of fruit. Some cuberries flying around, but it's not the prickly pears. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, this could be so fun. You guys, look at how cool it is just watching the Q-berry fly through the air. Okay, maybe I won't be able to pop the Gordo as easily as I hoped to. But let's just see if we can find some prickly pears for him to enjoy. Because it would literally be an explosion of nebula slimes. And I think that'd be pretty fun. Alright, let's climb over here. Hello, everyone! Hello! Yeah, there's not really that many prickly pears anywhere now that I'm really looking for them. So maybe I'll have to wait on popping the Gordo. Yeah, gosh, I guess the desert isn't exactly overflowing full of all sorts of uh, resources for the slimes to eat, huh? But that's a, that's a bit of a fooey because it is a little trickier to get through that slime gate without it. Um... I wonder if it'd be easier to go back and take all the little ones that we already have collected. Because I don't want to risk losing them either. Then we could go get some food. <sighs> but it's so much fun to be part of the... Uh, we're going to stay. We're going to stay and we're just going to go the long way then. Alright, so we can't pop that guy just yet. Look at how beautiful the nebula rock slimes are. Oh! <gasps> So in love! So in love! Okay, so we're just gonna have to go the long way, basically. Which means we'll go back through this direction and we'll search... I, I think I already looked there, but we'll search more around here a little caref more carefully for... Uh, you know what? A bunch of the mosaics hang out over there. I'm just shocked I haven't found so many treasure pods. Is there like an extra one hiding down here by chance? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that ancient water. It'd be so fun if you could, like, water a a tangle slime with it. Or a puddle slime. 
Can you imagine, my slimeology researchers, how happy a puddle slime might be if they were able to get... Uh, I can't quite make it. How happy a puddle slime would be if they were able to splash around in some of this ancient water. Maybe it's really, really, really good for puddle slimes. There we go. All right. So let's see. Well, we did look over here. Is there gonna be something like way up there? Oh geez, I bet there probably is, but it's not gonna be the slime style, thankfully, but I bet there is probably something on top of there that I just never even thought of before. <gasps> oh my gosh, Tangle Tabby Largo. Oh my gosh, he's got a pollen cloud and everything. I love you. I love you so much. Okay, we're gonna need to hurry with these slime styles so that I can really start experimenting with all of the different, with all of the different combinations and thinking about what kind of biology the slimes would then have. How would they be subtly changed? All right, well, back over here and, oh, you guys, you guys, oh, fire slimes, little fire slime babies, they need rescued. I got three of them! Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I saw the secret slime style. We literally just passed it. Oh, but these fire slimes, what are you guys doing? There's just fire slimes popping up out of the blue. Gotcha. Out of the blue, and there's like not a single freaking like piece of fruit to be found here, my friends. I really think that the hungry slimes are just like way on top of this. Can I get those? Look at that just group of... Wow, look at that. The Tars have no idea what happened to them. It's just raining, raining in the desert. Did you guys just hear what I heard? Was that a gold slime? I have the golden sure shot now. Why am I never carrying food? Why do I never carry food for my slimes? Oh, who knows? But all right, my friends, we have another one of these stunningly beautiful new secret styles. Let's see what it is. Mosaic or... <gasps> it's fire slime! And now they're devilish fire slimes! What? And I can't really look at them until there's either a fire storm or we go back home. Oh, wait, there's one! You guys! Look at it! Behold! It's still adorable. You're the cutest little devil thingy I've ever seen. Okay, those fire slimes are still cute. <laughs> I was ready to be like totally terrified. And instead, they're still ridiculously cute. But it's interesting. I think I prefer the soft, beautiful glow of the normal fire slimes. There's just something reassuring and warm about them. Like a little ember that burns in the hearth of your home, keeping your family and you safe. And that actually means we found one secret slime style over here. Nothing over here, though there's probably a million treasure pods I'm missing. We found one here. We found one here? We did not find one here. So we might have missed one down there, but I don't think so. So that's one, two, three. Probably four is gonna be on this side because we haven't been there yet. And we might find a zillion treasure pods because we have totally been missing treasure pods. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Do, 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 do. Don't want to get eaten by you. Thank you very much. Okay, and now we probably need to get out of the way for this firestorm. However, I don't think I've ever been so high up before. So I have my sneaking suspicions. Oh my gosh, is it going to start raining devil slimes? <laughs> is it gonna start raining at devilish slimes? Because now it's it's like fiery and we have the little devilish slime. That would kind of crack me up. Oh my gosh, it is actually raining devilish slimes. The heavens are raining devil slimes! <laughs> what a day, what a day. Are we high enough up that, I think we're high enough up that we can actually get away from most of the fire, ironically. Heat does rise, so we do want to be a little cautious about this. 
But no doubt, some of the many, many things I have been missing. <gasps> there it is! That's the mosaic slime! I've never popped that mosaic slime either! Oh, I can't even remember. <sighs> Nothing like a little bit of a firestorm to go ahead and open up your slimepedia in. Dun dun dun! Mosaic slimes, what are your favorite foods? The silver parsnips. I have plenty of those back home. All right. We might want to pop back home. Oh my gosh, is the sky really raining full of devilish slimes? We might want to pop home and put a few of these guys away. This actually makes it really easy to, like see, I can see one over there. You can see the outline now that they're a little bit purple. All right, let's go rescue some. Hi, little guys. Oh, hang in there. Wait, did you guys hear that? <gasps> Lucky slime! Ah! 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 Lucky slime! Lucky slime! Lucky slime! What do I do? 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 I don't have any food! Oh my gosh. I bet the lucky slime has a slime style too. Where's the lucky slime style? That's like only the third time I've ever even seen a lucky slime. That's it. We need to go back and we need to get some food from the family at home, my friends, because we, well, hi guys. You guys can come with me, I guess, because that is just ridiculous. What am I even doing traveling around without slime food? I don't even know. We have so many slimes to go ahead and add back into the ranch. We have three out of the four or more slime styles that we can actually find here. Wait, what is that? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, they're just the glowing orbs. I thought it was another secret slime style and I got really excited. Oh, quantum slimes. Hey guys, you can come back home too. There we go. We'll take those guys home as well. Ah, oh, let's do this. We're gonna go home and we're gonna drop off our new wonderful friends and family members. Why, hello little, little dervish slime. You are now a nebula slime. Excellent name. I, I can't believe I got to pet a lucky slime today. That's so rare for me. Okay, and I, I just, I can't believe I never thought that they too would have slime styles. That's gonna be really fun. But all right, let's go ahead and add the quantum slime to this spot. We'll gather up a ton of mint mangoes for just a second. Um, Cause I don't think I have any prickly pears. But I should probably go ahead and check. Let's feed, let's go ahead and feed these mint mangoes to my quantum slimes. And we need to fill up on food because I cannot believe just absolutely, what? My food isn't supposed to go bad anymore. Do we not have all the nutrient mixer, maximum harvest? Hmm, apparently some of my, some of my mint mangoes went bad, but it should be okay. And let's add these guys, some mint mangoes. And let's go fill ourselves up on hopefully some prickly pears and some silver parsnips. We can take them back to the awaiting mouths of those Largos. And then, my friends, we can continue our adventures. Let's see, prickly pears? <gasps> I do have prickly pears! Huzzah! I think we need like 30 of them. So let's take like maybe 40 just to be safe. There we go. And then we'll drop off, oh, the fire slimes, the dervish slimes and the mosaic slimes. And how do my tangle slime, my tangle booms. Oh, look at their beautiful colors. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool, you guys. This is so cool. What about my beautiful glass roses, my mosaic tangles? Oh, I cannot wait to find the gorgeous mosaic secret slime style that's the only one missing now my friends oh gosh and here's our royal tabby litter still having the ball where all of them look i i just i'm it's growing on me it's growing on me his royal majesty honeymint is totally cool with like sharing his his honeymintness with his peoples and let's go ahead and leave these mosaic slimes in here i got a lot of mosaic slimes I'm kind of questioning my life choices. And let's go ahead and leave all of 
Mosaic dervish slimes, huh? Is that where I want to leave my little nebulas? I kind of, you know what? We're going to grab these guys and we shall set you free. And we're going to just fill this entire pin with just dervish slimes for now. Did you guys hear somebody singing? I could have sworn I heard some singing. Maybe it was the rising sun? Do slimes sing with the rising sun? Like little chickens or something? All right, yeah, don't worry guys. They're all headed into the slime sea. They're gonna be fine. We're freeing them. Look at the nebulas! Oh, this is so cool. All right, there you go, little ones. And then, ta-da! We have a little farming, like, hen-hen. A little farming briar hen-hen. I love that. We'll gather up all of these silver parsnips so that we can give them to the mosaic largo. And I think the time has finally come to allow both of those largos, or gordos, I should say, to pop because they have served their, their time. They have done excellently. Uh, okay, I think I only need 30 silver parsnips, hopefully. There we go. We'll wake up the drone. Ha! Ah, oh, and yeah, okay, good. Good guys! All right, well, I'm really excited. I think that we are definitely on to a wonderful new path. We'll wake up a couple more of the drones as we run by. There we go. I should probably grab, I'm gonna grab some extra. <laughs> Maybe I should grab some extra prickly pears. Okay, I'll grab extra prickly pears, actually. <laughs> I get so nervous about these things. But all right, there. Last drone is woken up. We'll make sure the one back home is awake. And then next time we will drop off our adorable little devilish slimes, as cute as they are. And we will go searching for the mosaic slime. I am so excited about this. We will search for the mosaic slimes special beautiful look. There we go. And we shall continue our research into slime biology afterward. Also, maybe hen hen biology, because I have a lot of hen hens. I have handfuls and handfuls of hen hens. Oh, and let's check to see if Victor... Ooh, you know what? We'll save that for next time. All right. Will this be the fateful day when we finally have a message from Victor that will let us know what he has been working on in his secret lab? Or will we have to sit and uh, wait and maybe get a chance to meet Thora again now that we know that's where Hobson has actually followed his heart and gone off to? Until then, I'm apparently going to be walking around on Hen Hens, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye